We are bringing zero emissions technology to commercial aviation. We already started that journey in 2015 when we flew the original EFAN 1.0 across the English Channel. That aircraft had a 60 kilowatt electric propulsion system. What you see behind me is the EFAN X. That aircraft has a two megawatt electric propulsion system on board and is really um, shaping what will be the future electric propulsion system architectures that we plan to bring to commercial aircraft in the 2030s. Our ambition is to significantly reduce the CO2 emissions of our products and this aircraft, this demonstration platform is a key part to uh, making that happen. So I'm inside the RJ100 that's going to become the final EFAN X aircraft. And what you can see here is we've stripped out the entire cabin and uh, fitted in what you see here, water ballast tanks. So why did we do this? We wanted to fill uh, the cabin with the representative weight of what the final hybrid electric systems will weigh when we finally modify the EFAN X. So all of these tanks represent the weight and the center of gravity of the different hybrid electric systems like the battery packs, the power generation source, which will be to the rear of the cabin, as well as the equipment like our inverter and rectifier to change the voltages of the, uh, of the electrical transmission. Other aspects, we're looking at fitting really uh, high voltage systems, so a 3000 volt electric system, the highest voltage system to ever fly on an aircraft. And we're looking at fitting these cables uh, to go from the fuselage out to the wing, uh, and then to the electric motor, which is in that nacelle out in the wing. Now this electric motor is two megawatts in power, roughly the size of 10 medium-sized cars. And it will be what we test ultimately on EFAN X to understand how to control it in flight and how to power it, whether from the battery packs or the power generation source or a combination of the two. So situated behind the cockpit, and what we have here is a flight test engineer station. This is where flight test engineers from Airbus will sit during flight testing of the EFAN X and gather all the data and parameters associated with the performance and systems performance of the aircraft, as well as the data coming from all the hybrid electric systems on board. And it's this data that's going to be really key for our learning to understand how to design new aircraft of the future, how to control these systems in a safe and reliable way for future aircraft.